Burbank with Bedecker, Bleistein with a cigar by T. S. Eliot. Tra la 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 nel nissi divinum stabile est che etera fumis the gondola stopped the old palace was there how charming it's grey and pink goats and monkeys with such hair too so the countess passed on until she came through the little park where Niobe presented her with a cabinet and so departed the bank cost a little Bridge descending at a small hotel. Princess Valupine arrived. They were together and he fell. Defunctive music under sea, past seaward with the passing bell. Slowly the god Hercules had left him that had loved him well. The horses under the axle tree beat up. The dawn from Isteria with even feet her shuttered barge burned on the water all the day, but this or such was Bleistein's way, a saggy bending of the knees and elbows with the palms turned out, Chicago's Semite Viennese, a lustrous, protrusive eye stares from the protozoic slime at a perspective of Canaletto. The smoky candle end of time declines on the Rialto once. The rats are underneath the piles, the Jew is underneath the lot. Money infers the boatman smiles. Princess Volupine extends a meager blue-nailed fifth-stick hand to climb the water stair. Lights, lights. She entertains Sir Ferdinand Klein, who clip the loins of the lion's wings and fleed his rump and pared his claws, thought Burbank, meditating on the time's ruin and the seven laws.